Well, hey guys, welcome back to Lost Wrench Garage. I'm Greg. Uh, we're going to change door cards. We're going to make new door cards, apply new material and backing. So, hang on out. I got here is some low, uh, poly, 100% uh, polyester. You don't want to get cotton because if it gets wet, it's going to mold, etc. This is a medium large roll and it's quilt batting low loft. So I got that at um, Joanne Fabrics. I also got there is a card of. Uh, pleather vinyl uh, it's not close to the original it's close enough but uh, I thought about reusing this card uh, uh, the skin but because it has the foot pad here but it's in bad shape so I want to do I want to make my own so this is the cheapest way I can go about it buying these cards and the covering and all that can get expensive. Uh, I also bought, uh, I think it was 3.7 mil, uh, uh, mil plywood as a backer. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start pulling this apart. Uh, as you can see, they used like a pressed cardboard, I guess warped moldy yuck you know so and they're all stapled on all the way around uh, I do not think I'm going to use staples we'll see because I you have to get the right depth of staple so it doesn't come through the back or through the face of the card um, I'm going to use this as a pattern and uh, so let's start stripping that and I do have a tools, fork tool, slightly bent. One of the teeth are bent, bent, bent. I'm gonna have to, maybe I'll have to straighten all that out, but it's worked pretty good. I already pulled a couple staples. You just slip underneath, give it a wiggle, comes right out. There's hundreds of them. And I'm not gonna have you standing here watching me do it. I might do a little bit of a, time lapse. just this part this here is plastic it's a plastic ring which uh, it's, this is where your door grab is this is where you reach in and grab the door it's like a backer for around the come off pretty easy I didn't even have to pull the staples I'll have to I'll have to remove the staples from it to reuse it uh, and probably staple it back into place but you want to save this okay you'll be you'll regret it if you don't but they didn't use any glue on this I see they got some uh, duct tape there must have had a bad area Which I don't know why it did. It cracked right here because of one of the holes for the clips right there. You want to try and save the integrity of the card itself. So you can use it as a pattern. There we go. I think we got them all. 
Yeah, they didn't use any glue. And now we're ready to flip it over and uh, pull it from the cart. Let's pull this away. And there's one I missed. There's another one I missed. Good thing they're just pulling out of the cardboard. And then you want to take note of how the corners are uh, wrapped. You can take a picture and see how they've done it. So I'm going to use this, this skin, this vinyl, as a uh, pattern. So that's no big deal. But I may modify the pattern a little bit. Let's see what's going on here. Well, that's the. That is where the. Uh, little kick panel well it had staples so I didn't know that see take your time at it and they are separated this foam is not in bad shape uh, so I'm going to take this and uh, draw a pattern, use it as a pattern, or the new card. Uh, that's going to take a little bit. I got to cut the, I got to cut the new wood to size. And before I, uh, just so I can make it, make the card and I don't have to fight with a four by four piece. I, took, I bought a uh, four by eight piece and haven't cut it in half because I could, I can get two cards out of one half and then we're going to be doing the rear section of behind the seat you know the quarter covers and the uh, the back uh, backing board that's behind the seat so yeah we're getting there I need more bench but I'm going to trim it this way I'm going to measure the card and trim it this this length so Flip it over like that because I want to use this edge, which is a the factory edge, and this edge over here, which is a factory edge, as edges for a card. Yeah, I thought maybe get on my way. Well, let you know the card is not truly square. So, you ain't gonna have any really straight, straight edges except for the front part. So, you may just use that yeah we do that bring over here where you're showing seeing what I'm doing okay so I line this edge up and then I'm just going to start drawing the outline and then we'll replace this on top of the, that after I cut it. And then start working on all the holes. And 
don't want it to move on you. This corner is kind of gone, so I'm just going to come out and around. There's the shape that we're going to keep going after. So, what we're get the jigsaw out. I'm just going to lop this section off, which is not going to be used for anything. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I'll lop that off and then trim, start trimming the rest of it. Maybe I shouldn't have swept up so soon, huh? Well, for one thing, I need to put that away. Set it over here on the magazine, parts of catalog. I think I might need to change blade, because it's just tearing this up. So, let's see what we got. All kinds of blades. I need a little finer cut. I like that. That one looks easier. Get all the when you buy the Bauer saw, you get all these blades with it. They all have Bauer on it. Metal blades, wood blades, aluminum blades. They even come in this little stored sock. And it comes with a, I think it, this one came with a bag. So, just for safety, take the battery out. This has a quick disconnect, which is right here. Just turn it, blade comes right out. Replace with the new one. That's that easy. No screws like they used to have. So we'll put that back up there. I really like this saw. Even though I'm not a woodworker. It has uh, three different speeds. Uh, rough wood at OSB general purpose metal. Uh, so that's your cut speeds. So, and then uh, full angle. You can push that, uh, pull out on the, the handle at full angle. Lock back down. Um, has a light, as you can see. I turn it on just for a second. There's a little light there for guiding you. Pretty nice little, little saw. I kind of like it. You can turn the light on. It has a laser line, which so that's what that is. As you can see, probably should be using that. <laughs> Not bad. I cannot remember the price. Uh, I still, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a review on it. If you, if you like me to review this thing, go ahead and put it in the comments. But let's get cutting this. Cut the shape. Sure, I need some fine tuning. You can always take a file or a sander and sand the edges, get them, get it fine tuned. But it is looking good. A little proud here, which is along the top, oh, in the front of the door card. A little proud there. Looks good. Good. So, yep, just a couple spots along the top. 
that are proud. So that's fine. Nice. So I made a mess. I'm just going to leave it and clean it up after I'm all done with it. But now, uh, I may yeah. I lined it up along the bottom. It's lined up along the edges, so now I'm just going to go through and mark all the all the holes. said I don't know why it's like they got spacing for the holes pretty much the same distance all the way apart but they have like this hole and this hole here why it's a I got to look at the door maybe it, 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 there's a clip there uh, or they use the same cards for the older uh, the older Spitfires because I think it was a mark four turn that laser off. Mark IV, uh, I think is a little different, you know, I don't know, I have to look into it. But there we go. Now we're, we're getting, getting there. We're getting there. I looked at the door, so I put the pattern back on, lined it all back up again, and I marked these, these holes. Uh, because I already marked these two. What they, what they're for is I looked at the door and the panel, the uh, part of the door panel, these bolts set proud. So they set out away from where the panel was set flush against the inner door skin. So these bolts need somewhere to go. So you open that up and the bolt recesses into these holes. There is two more down here, which are not on the door card, so I don't know. Uh, I gotta look into that deeper, but these ones here are also set proud, so that's that's why they're so they're gonna get opened up also. Well, I done got the drill and got a step bit, so uh, I want to go to the to where the holes where the, the markings are no longer visible so what I should get something to back yeah well I should be able to get away with that rough on the out she's pushing through so I'm gonna have to do that with every one but there you be uh, first hole drill so hopefully that will work um, I may go one more deeper I like that better. Good. Now I should mark on the bit. I'll just get some tape and I'll mark to where I want to stop at for each one of them. Now this one here I will have to take and probably get a, use a file. Open that up. Uh, my step bit ain't big enough. That's the biggest hole it, it makes. Uh, 
that or if I, I think I have some hole saw. But since I already drilled it, now it's just going to chip out. Uh, as you see, a lot of the back is chipping out, but I'm just going to take a uh, sandpaper and run over it, knock these off, because you're not going to see them. Now, how am I going to get these out? What I'm going to do, so I'm going to take my step bit again. But I'm going to make a hole in each corner and get down to where it just meets the edges. The hole will still have these edges, you know, this curve here. But I'm going to do a hole here, 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 all the way around. And then I'm going to take my jigsaw. I'll do the same with that. Take my jigsaw, connect them, and take out the corners. And, uh, that should be it set for this. <clears throat> There's a little more trimming on that do this one I'll bring you back all righty well we got her out I still gotta get my hand file I did take the DA and uh, hit the back side of it knocked a lot of that uh, I still gotta do these edges and then uh, like I said this here and this here you can see they're still pretty rough but that's gonna be the inside of the door card anyways against the door so, uh, I may not just, may not even worry about it. But I do got to hit, like I said, the file. Uh, this section here will go on the inside. See, it doesn't want to fit. So, I will need to readjust that hole, like I said. But I will get the the door uh, chrome piece, the bezel that goes in here. I'll check that out. Uh, I also have the door right here beside me and I will test fit it and see prior if I need to do any fine tuning. Well, I took that piece. I had to do a little bit of fine tuning on this uh, I cut had to, I cut it from the back side, which I should have never done. But it it now fits, so that's a good thing. Uh, so now we're going to start looking at uh, fine tuning these edges. I'm going to get uh, I got the DA. It, hopefully, it'll take enough off. Um, I'm going to keep trial fitting, fitting it to the door. Well, there you go, guys. Part one. I don't want to make too long of a video, so hang, uh, hang around for part two. That will be coming up soon. Uh, if not, directly a uh, couple days after this one. But, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me on the door card project and uh, you know uh, I've broken 500 subscribers thank you we appreciate it but if you guys like this stuff subscribe uh, I know there's a lot of you viewers are, are not subscribed right now the channel is small so I'm about 50-50 so I like to keep it right there or 75% subscribed, 50, you know, 25% unsubscribed. So if you like this stuff, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. What I should be doing, what I haven't done. I don't know. I'm new at this stuff. Just a redneck out here in the woods. But uh, leave a comment. It's a good way for me to find your channel. Also, uh, 
give me a big thumbs up and not the finger. And why don't you all check out this video? We'll see you later.